In this particular video lecture, we will learn about women entrepreneurs, factors influencing women entrepreneurs, functions of women entrepreneurs, steps taken to develop women entrepreneurship in India, challenges and problems faced by women entrepreneurs. We will also learn about various stages in entrepreneurial process. Women entrepreneurs Women entrepreneurs may be defined as a woman or group of women who initiate, organize and run a business enterprise. Government of India has defined women entrepreneur as an enterprise owned and controlled by a woman having minimum financial participation of 51% of the capital and giving at least 51% of employment generated in the enterprise to women. This definition is based on women participation in equity and employment of business enterprise. In brief, Women entrepreneurs are those women who think of a business enterprise, initiate it, organize and combine the factors of production, run the enterprise and undertake the risk and economic uncertainty involved in running the business. Factors influencing women entrepreneur The factors that are influencing women entrepreneur are building confidence, developing risk-taking ability, economic independence, establishing their own creative idea, establishing their own identity, motivation, equal status in the society, greater freedom and mobility, achievement of excellence. The first one is building confidence. When women turn into entrepreneurs, it instills confidence in them. Developing risk-taking ability. Business involves risk. When women take into business, they get to know about the business do's and don'ts with, which they learn by experience. Thus, they get or develop risk-taking ability. Economic independence. Most of the Indian women are not well educated and are economically not self-dependent. But running an enterprise successfully and earning profit gives them economic independence. Establishing their own creativity. Women entrepreneurs get an exposure or get a chance to put forth their innovative ideas, establishing their own identity. Women entrepreneurs get recognition when they are when they enter when they enter into business. Motivation, becoming economically independent and getting one's own identity motivates women entrepreneurs equal status in society. Economic self-dependency gives them status in the society. Greater freedom and mobility. When women become economically self-dependent, they enjoy greater freedom and mobility too. Achievement of excellence. Women entrepreneurs get an opportunity to prove themselves. Setting up an enterprise is not an easy job for women entrepreneurs and at the same time running enterprise is a greater task. A challenge is always there for these women entrepreneurs to run their enterprise successfully, earning profit and ensuring the growth of the enterprise which will severely test their entrepreneurial skill and survival of the unit. It is found that women are entering into a venture as compared and more and more as compared to men to start their own business to make social contribution in addition to desire of exploring their inner self and fulfilling their means to livelihood. Functions of Women Entrepreneur As an entrepreneur, a woman has to perform all the functions involved in establishing an enterprise. Some of them are listed below. Exploration of the prospects of starting a new business. Women entrepreneur has to explore all the prospects of starting a new business. It involves in searching for new ideas, products, technology, market, etc. She should be innovative and creative. Pool of the resources. To start an enterprise, she needs the factors of production like land, labor, capital and technology. 
establish the industrial enterprise. Entrepreneur's main function is to establish and promote the enterprise. She has to select the location of enterprise and implement the idea into action. Manage the business. She has to manage the business. In order to manage the business, she has to perform all functions of management like planning, organizing, staffing, coordinating, directing and controlling. She has to organize workers, materials and other resources that are involved in it. Development of strategies. After starting the enterprise, a number of challenges, risks, difficulties, problems tend to begin. To face them, she has to develop strategies, play tactics and will have to overcome them. Assume risk and uncertainty. She has to bear risk and uncertainties that emerge in the enterprise. She should have good decision making capacity to take right decision at the right time to suit a situation. To develop business and business decision. She has to pay attention to business decisions. She has to take important decisions about business for its development. For the business development, she has to increase volume of production, market share, wealth, etc. Motivation. She should motivate her employees to achieve the targets by putting their full effort. Supervision and leadership. Women entrepreneurs should supervise and lead her people towards the goals. Steps to be taken to develop women entrepreneurship. Though government is given lot of support through institutions like National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development that is NABAR, not government organizations that is NGOs, nationalized banks, the issue of women entrepreneurship is not in court. There is still a wide gap between efforts and actual needs. In this situation, the following steps may be taken to develop or improve women entrepreneurship. Provide basic education and establish special institutions to train women entrepreneurs. Conduct special workshops to women for better awareness. Provide liberal financial support said that the women entrepreneurs are motivated. Provide favorable credit policies to women entrepreneurs. Provide better marketing help to the women entrepreneurs. Provide need-based training for the development of skills and entrepreneurship. Establish self-help groups that is SHGs voluntary agencies and social welfare organizations for women entrepreneurs. Provide concessions for women entrepreneurs. And provide a common platform to all the concerned agencies and R&D organizations to achieve an integrated approach for promoting women entrepreneurship. Challenges and problems faced by women entrepreneurs in India. Some of the challenges and problems faced by women entrepreneurs are discussed over here. The first one is family restriction and family times. As per Indian tradition, women are expected to spend more time taking care of their family members. Their total involvement in family leaves little or no time and energy to be devoted to business. Support of family members is also very much essential for women to enter into business and to exploit new business opportunities. The next one is lack of finance. Family members do not encourage women entrepreneurs. They hesitate to invest money in the business venture initiated by women entrepreneurs. Bank and other financial institutions do not consider women entrepreneurs as credit worthy and discourage women borrowers. The general belief is that they may leave business at any point of time. Under such circumstances, women entrepreneurs have to depend on their own funds or funds from relatives and friends. For example, Kiran Madhumdar Shah initially faced many problems regarding funds for her business. Banks were hesitant to give loan to her as biotechnology was a totally new thing at that point of time and she was a woman entrepreneur which was a rare phenomenon.
lack of education. Women are generally denied of higher education, especially in rural areas and underdeveloped countries. Women are not allowed to enter their knowledge in technical and research areas to introduce new products. As per census, about 60% of women are still illiterate in India. In the absence of qualitative education, women are not exposed to business tactics, technology, management skills and functions, market knowledge, financial management, etc., which are very much essential for any enterprise. Role Conflict Marriage and family life are given more importance than career in social life in Indian society. Unfavorable environment or male domination. The society is dominated by males. Many businessmen are not interested to have business relationship with women entrepreneurs. Males generally do not encourage women entrepreneurs. Though government sees equal rights for male and female, in practice women are given secondary treatment compared to men. Lack of persistent nature. Women generally have sympathy for others. They are very emotional. This nature should not allow them to get easily cheated in business. Lack of mental strength and low risk bearing capacity. Business involves risk. Generally, Indian women are less educated and economically not self-independent. As a result, women entrepreneurs have low risk bearing capacity and get upset very easily when there is loss in business. Lack of information. Women entrepreneurs are not generally aware of the subsidies and incentives available for them. Lack of knowledge may prevent them from availing the business special schemes. Stiff competition. Due to limited facilities and funds, enterprises managed by, managed by women face a lot of competition from men. Such competition may sometimes lead to loss and closure of women managed enterprises. Mobility. In India, mobility of women is limited compared to men due to various reasons. Therefore, women are unable to market their goods. But with the advent of so software technology, this situation is slowly easing out. Stages in entrepreneurial process. Barringer and Grassoff identified various stages in entrepreneurial process. The diagram depicts the stages in entrepreneurial process. Various stages in entrepreneurial process. The first one is genesis of business idea. This is the very first step in entrepreneurial process, which requires critical thinking by the entrepreneur to select the most viable business ideas from a set of available options. This not only includes critical analysis of the merits and demerits of the innovative products or service created by the entrepreneur, but also includes the study of the market potential marketing, finance, human resources, and operational issues related to the business idea. The second one is conduct preliminary feasibility. The preliminary feasibility involves a quick assessment about the potential of the business ideas and screening out an idea with the highest potential. This step is necessary to ensure the, that comprehensive and detailed feasibility analysis to be conducted in the next step is done only for the single best idea. A checklist helps in selecting the highest potential idea within a couple of hours on the basis of the following four criteria. The first one is market and market related issues. The second one is competitive advantages. The sec third one is value creation and realization issues. And the fourth one is overall potential. Detailed feasibility analysis. Having screened out an idea with high potential, it is subjected to the detailed feasibility analysis, which may take a couple of days or weeks. The detailed analysis is helpful in making suitable modification in the business idea before taking it to the business plan stage. The detailed analysis comprises of the following components. The first one is product or service feasibility. The next one is industry of market feasibility, the third one is organizational feasibility, and the fourth one is financial feasibility. Product or service feasibility. The feasibility of the product or service 
is performed by concept testing that is showing the concept or idea to a sample group of potential customers to gauge their reaction to take their suggestions for the further development of the concept and to assess its sales potential a prototype or sample unit of the product can also be created in simple form depending upon the cost involved otherwise computer simulation or design can be used a rough assessment of the production or service delivery process to be followed should also be done to avoid abrupt revelation about infeasibility of production at a later stage when substantial investments of time and effort have been made industry or market feasibility the feasibility analysis of industry or market involves three three considerations firstly how attractive is a market for the new business idea or concept a market segment experiencing growth with high profit margins and less competition would naturally be attractive for the entrepreneur secondly effort should be expended to identify the niche within a large market that is a narrow segment of customers with a common expectation from the product or service this way entrepreneur can buy some time for establishing his venture before competing head on with existing established players in the market last but not the least a candid assessment of the overall market potential of the new concept should be made in a realistic manner organizational feasibility two issues should be addressed here an assessment about the organizational prowess or capability of the initial management team and the availability of non financial resources like office space talent pool in the area where the venture should be started etc organizational prowess means passion for the new business idea professional managerial qual- qualification prior experience and understanding of the market in which the venture would be created financial feasibility the total initial cash needed for starting the venture and overall financial attractiveness of the investment are at heart of the financial feasibility it should be kept in mind that very rarely do new startup ventures are able to secure funding from financial institutions as debt or are able to find equity investors people who are willing to invest money by becoming partners in the venture therefore very clear identification about sources of sufficient funds to cover all capital long term like land building machinery expenditures and operating ex- expenses to generate first unit of sales should be done financial attractiveness of investment should be assessed by estimating the expected rate of return on investment this estimation for the new concept would be subjective and can be based upon comparison with similar existing businesses the next stage is write a business plan a business plan is written document containing the details about every aspect of the proposed business venture it serves two purposes one is to provide a road map for the people internal to the organization that is employees stakeholders etc and the second one is to convince the potential in- investors and financial institutions about the viability of the venture so that they may agree to invest in it a good business plan is based upon comprehensive data and analysis rather than upon gut feel or judgment of the entrepreneur it should preferably include details about the screening process and feasibility studies conducted by the entrepreneur to augment its authenticity and appeal launch the venture this is a final step in the entrepreneurial process and involves launching the venture as per business plan due to uncertainties of business env- environment the entrepreneur should be prepared to face hurdles and challenges during the launching of the venture as well as in the subsequent periods of time in this first stage in entrepreneurship we have learned about 
women first one is genesis of factors influencing women ideas. entrepreneurs this is options of very women first step in entrepreneurial steps that are requires critical thinking by the entrepreneurship in india to select the most viable business ideas from a set of available options this is not only includes the preliminary analysis of the merits in and the merits of the innovative products or service created by the entrepreneur but also includes the study of the market 